Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can increase the gain from videos that you record on your mobile phone. A lot of the time that the videos that you record through your mobile phone, they're a little bit quiet. And what I'm going to be showing you is the, the app, Adobe Clip, that allows you to increase the gain, increase the volume. Now, the software can actually do a lot of different things. It can, you know, you can make lots of different basic edits. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the editing suite at all. Uh, but what I do like is the fact that you can increase the volume and this is one of the problems that sometimes you run into when you record with your mobile phone. Now this video is going to help anyone who's a YouTuber and they record through their phone but it will also help anyone who's just recording videos through their phone. Perhaps you know the volume, volume isn't good enough if you're sending videos to friends and things like that. So what I've got here, I've got my phone, my HTC U11, I've got a selfie stick tripod and I've got the Shure VP83. Now this, you know in the UK, this sells, I think it's about £200 or so, I bought it second hand and you know the reason I've got a few adapters here is because this is type C so I plug it in like that, um, I push open camera, I can use the default app as well but I've got a little bit more control here, um, I'll turn that round and then I just turn it on here, now that's a kind of filter, now I've got it zero decibels, I can actually take 10 decibels off and I can actually add 20, now you add 20 and it's, it's way too loud. You start getting a lot of noise and the quality isn't good. Now, I don't think it's too bad when you put it at zero on this one. I don't think it's too bad, but I have a few people have said it's a little bit too quiet. What I would say though is that, um, you know, with mics in general, a lot of external microphones that you get that you plug into your phone or just, you know, the default mics in the phone they're not always as loud as you'd want them to be so you might not have control and that's the thing you know recording apps like this they don't have any options as far as gain goes so it's a little bit frustrating but if I record I can I just test video I'm just going to record just so I've got a sample video here um, and I'm talking and it should record something now that should be enough just to show you what I want to show you um, so a lot of people aren't you know a big fan of recording videos through their smartphone on this channel, I only really do the odd video recorded through this. Just, you know, occasionally I do it. But on my other channel, I do actually record quite a few videos. Um, maybe, you know, a couple of times a week, three, four times a week I'll do a video. It, it doesn't give me the same quality I would get from using a camera and external mics and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, recording a, a, a video through this and then syncing up the audio and then editing it and all that... Sometimes that may take an hour, whereas recording a five minute uh, video on this and then uploading it can take me 10, 15 minutes. And, you know, when I'm busy and I don't have the time, I'm of the opinion that I'd rather record the video and upload it uh, to my other channel than not upload anything. So that's why sometimes I do turn to this rather than going for quality, I go for the easy route. Now, with that all the way, let's show you how you set this up. This is Adobe Premiere Clip or Adobe Clip as they called it. And you can see I've got a few videos there that I've you know, did before and what I've done in these videos is simply uh, increase the gain. Now this does have a lot of different options. Um, you can see you can apply a watermark, you can append a, a video bumper if you want to, you know, display a little clip at the end. Um, that's an option. But what I don't like about that is that, um, sorry I'll bring that down a little bit. As far as appending the video bumper and all that at the end, you can only really select one that doesn't give you a few different options. So because I've got two different YouTube channels, I've got two different ending clips and I basically have to manually upload one each time. So I just stop using it as a pain because again, the whole point is to do it quick. Um, what I'll do here is if I push plus, I'm going to go to device, um, open camera, there's the clip, done. Right, so is that adding two for some reason? Why is that adding two? I don't know. Right, so you can pick automatic. I'm going to go for freeform here. Right, for some reason there's a motorbike clip there. I don't even know where that's coming from, but I'm going to delete that. Right, probably some random video someone sent me um, on WhatsApp or something. So we've got a lot of different options here, and if you want to, you can explore this. There's lots of different things you can do here. You know, fade out to black, fade in. And crossfade if you're going to add multiple clips. Now, if you want to string lots of clips together, you can do that here. It's not something I do. I feel that when I've got a lot of different clips, I prefer to just upload it to the laptop. For these kind of videos that I do, it, you know, it's mainly just the, um, the one clip that I do. Um, but you can see lots of different options here, exposure highlights and all that. 
uh, and then you've got the speed and all that but this one in the middle this one volume so if i go back to the main part here see if you click on the volume what i've been doing is just putting the volume up to like 150 percent or something like that so if i get that go up there we go there's 144 percent 150 or oh, 150 well, i'll leave it 152 i've also been selecting this if smart volume all the audio in this clip will be increased to a consistent volume. I think that's quite good. And you can do an audio fade in at the start. So it's not just, you know, just doesn't arrive quite loud. And you can ba go back there um, and you can, you know, you can play the clip. You see that's playing the clip there. Um, and, you know, there's a few different options there. But again, the one that I wanted to focus on was the volume. It's a very basic video editing app, as you'd expect. But I'm not a big fan of the editing app, if I'm honest. But as I said, what I used... To, is to increase the volume. When you've increased the volume, what you need to do is click on the share button, this one at the top, um, and you can do a lot of different things, send it, publish it, share on YouTube. What I tend to do is save the gallery, and then from there, I, I can do something else. Now, see that it's saving the video? Watch this. See if I come out, and then I go back in, it's stopped. Now, that is very important, because if you've got like a four minute video or something, um, if you receive a call, if you check your WhatsApp messages, if you check your emails, you do anything, it won't work. So when this is exporting, when it's saving this save file, you know, you've recorded your video, you've now increased the volume uh, the volume to 152% here, um, and you want to export it. When you choose to save to gallery, don't do anything. Now, this was a short seven second clip, but if you've recorded a five or 10 minute clip or even longer, this can take a long time and you start to realize how often you use your phone actually when um, when you can't use it because you can't even leave the screen. You can't do anything. But essentially that's was how it would work. It would save the video and now you're going to, you know, it's going to save a clip that's 100% the same as before but the volume is 50% extra. Now if you're a YouTuber you will find this useful. As I said, I've tried a lot of different video apps. Open camera remains the best one that I use. You know, you can use the, the default one um, that's just a default one for your camera, but I, I like open camera, but you know, there isn't really any options as far as increasing the gain, increasing the volume, and a lot of the time isn't so much the volume of, of the recording, it's the fact that a lot of people watch clips on their mobile phones now. So again, that um, app is called Adobe Clip. You can append the, bump, uh, the bumper, you can add, apply watermark, you can add lots of clips together, but for me, the best thing about this is that, the ability to increase gain. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you know of any other good video editing apps for your phone, please do share them in the comment area, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.